realagriculture.com canola school is brought to you by Syngenta Crop Protection Camp. Okay, Troy, we're in a field here that has uh, had some flea beetle activity. Um, how do we evaluate the activity of the flea beetle? Well, that's a, that's a good question, Sean. Um, the one thing we got, I guess, uh, that's new this year, or newer in the, in the last little while, is we do have another flea beetle come in, and it is a striped flea beetle. A um, little bit, uh, they, they're, they're in the north a little more around the peace country and stuff like that. We're seeing higher numbers of them. Uh, they're, they eat more and uh, they're actually harder to kill and they come out a little bit earlier. But uh, when we get in the actual field and we look, uh, what we want to see is 25% uh, uh, damage uh, to, the, to the leaves. And if we see, uh, see this here, we're getting, uh, getting a little bit of damage here, um, probably around that 3 to 5%. Um, and then we can get into some of these, uh, you know, we're, we're getting more and more, uh, you know, maybe up to 10, 12% damage. And then, uh, you know, looking at, at these, we're almost at 25% damage. So that's uh, that's a good time to uh, to start um, getting ready, getting the sprayer ready, and uh, being able to pull the trigger on that. So obviously, with a product like uh, Helix Extra, we want activity on the plant because that's how we uh, that's how we control the pest. Um, but obviously, how much? Where is kind of the threshold? How much is too much? Well, um, at 50% uh, uh, leaf damage, um, you will have economic uh, okay. downfall, and you, that's, that's kind of your threshold of where you'll see, start seeing yield losses of up to 10%. So say we decided to spray this field, um, is, would this be the right field side or plant stage to spray if we had warmer temperatures? Yes, this, this would definitely be the right, uh, the right uh, time. Um, you know, or, or definitely real soon to now anyway. There's 25% uh, damage on some of the leaves, so uh, you know, there definitely is activity. Um, lots of times when we have tree rows and uh, hedges along the sides of fields, we can get away with just spraying that little bit of the field, um, just, uh, just because that's where the flea beetles usually migrate to in the winter and then they come out from there. So sometimes you can get away with just doing the edges of your fields, which, uh, which is economic. Okay, in Western Canada, uh, where have we been seeing the most flea beetle damage? Uh, the peace country this year has definitely had high numbers. Of and why is that? Because it's drier, or what? Why? It's just kind of the season form this year. It it, ha it was drier uh, with all the ex excess moisture we've been having this year in the west. Um, it's uh, it's definitely hasn't been favorable, or the colder temperatures for the flea beetle. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks, Sean.